white supremacy and the KKK. Really? That's what you guys want me to be concerned with this week? Do I look like an idiot? My name is Candace Owens and you are watching my vlog series, The Myth of the Coon. Oh my god, Charlottesville! White supremacy is alive and well! Run! Stop. If you are a black person and you express some irrational fears this week over the rise of the Klansmen and neo-Nazis, let me invite you over for a cup of hot steaming facts. Fact number one. Approximately 93% of black homicide victims are killed by other black people. In 2014, 6,095 black people were killed and virtually all of them were killed by other black people. And you're not special, white people. Seriously, in 2012, 84% of white homicides were committed by other white people. Go figure. It's like we're all racist towards our own selves. Nobody wants us dead more than we want ourselves dead. I mean, there are, what, 6,000 Klansmen left in our nation? You want me to actually process that as a legitimate fear every day when I wake up? It's Donald Trump's fault that they're feeling energized. It's Obama's fault that Black Lives Matter is violent. It's obviously the media's fault. I mean, the media is creating this entire narrative, and it is crazy, absolutely crazy to me, that people have not figured this out yet. I mean, why do you think we didn't hear a single thing about David Duke, white supremacy, and the KKK the entire time Obama was in office? Do you think that they were all hiding underground, waiting for the next white president, meeting by the light of the moon? Do you really actually believe that they weren't still meeting, holding protests, having rallies and marches? Maybe the media wasn't covering it. Use your brain. I mean, the media is literally simulating a reality right now, and it is fascinating to watch people fall for it over and over again. Am I the only person in the world that relies on her own experiences to dictate what's going on in the world? I mean, maybe it's me. Maybe I live in a bubble where black people and white people actually get along every day. When I went to the gym this morning, a white girl signed me in and handed me a towel. No beef. I was trying to figure out how to use this weight machine, and a black trainer came over and helped me. No drama. I even went to the coffee shop thereafter and a Spanish girl made my latte with an extra shot. All good in the hood. And it was a great day. So you'll have to forgive me for not realizing that the figurative racial sky was burning and it was up to me to choose a side. Because if I had known, I obviously would have picked none of you losers. Honestly, everybody involved in this fake racial war is a loser. So please spare me the statuses and your white guilt and your black pride because I really don't care to see it. You know what's going to happen if we keep down this path? We are actually going to allow the media to create those divisions where none existed prior. I mean, I already see it happening on my Facebook feed. People that were once liking each other's brunch photos are now at each other's throats with claims of racism. I'm like, didn't you two date in high school? Yeah, ma'am. Then I found out that she's a total Nazi sympathizer. I don't know. She's a Nazi sympathizer. She sympathizes with the Nazis. Huh? Bottom line, I am not too disturbed by the events that happened in Charlottesville because that is what happens when two groups of losers that hate one another get together. That's what happens when the blood show up to a crip party and if you think one person is above the other, then that's on you. I think the president was absolutely right to call it for what it is, which is two groups of extremists. Nobody showed up looking to give hugs. As an African-American woman in this country, some things that I'm actually afraid of are the education system and the prison system. These are two institutions that actually do systematically oppress and disadvantage African Americans and keep us on the cycle of crime and poverty. But you won't hear your media talking about any of that. Nope. The media is going to keep encouraging us to act like absolute animals, to make sure we get arrested and end up in that system, and to make sure that we do not have a shot at getting into the schools and receiving the education that will close the gap and the barrier for African Americans. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time.